Today's video goes along with the science lesson being assigned for Wednesday, May 27th, 2020. In today's video, you are going to learn how to become a bird watcher. A bird watcher is a person who observes birds to learn all about them. Bird watchers observe with their eyes. They look to see what birds look like, how they act, where they live. Bird watchers also observe with their ears. They listen for the different sounds that birds make. There are 10,000 different kinds of birds. Even though there are so many different kinds of birds, all birds have some things that are alike, some things that are the same. Birds all have two wings to help them fly. They all have feathers to keep them warm and dry. They also all have beaks to help them eat and build their nests. All birds also lay eggs. This is an example of a chicken egg. All birds also have hollow bones. Take your finger and press gently. Do you feel your bones? Birds also have bones, except for their bones are hollow. Like this paper towel roll, they have um, bones that are empty so that they're very light and it can help the birds fly away. Let's take a look at the life cycle of a bird. Here is an adult robin. A robin is a type of bird that we see around here in Massachusetts. The robin makes a nest then lays its eggs, baby robins are born, they grow up and become adult robins, they make a nest, they have eggs, baby chicks are born, and they become adult robins, and it goes around and around. Let's take a look at these different types of birds' nests. Birds make their nests with their beaks and their feet. What kinds of materials do you notice? I notice twigs. I notice fur. I notice grass. Have you ever seen a bird's nest in the springtime? Let's take a look at these birds. What do you notice is alike about these birds? What do you notice is the same? I notice that they all have two feet. I notice they all have one beak. What do you notice that is different about these birds? I notice they are different colors, blue, red, yellow. I also notice that their tail feathers are different lengths. For example, this yellow bird has a short tail feather and this blue jay has a long tail feather. One of my favorite birds to observe is a woodpecker. I like to listen to the sound a woodpecker, woodpecker makes when I take a walk in the woods. Let's take a listen. Have you heard this sound before? <laughs> if you hear a tapping sound, you might be near a woodpecker. Let's take a look at the word bird. What do you notice about the letters? I notice there's a bossy R. This week our phonics sound is bossy R. We're learning that R, when it comes after a vowel, 
bosses that vowel around and makes it change its sound. IR makes the sound er. Let's say that together. IR makes the sound er. Let's read the word bird together. B er d bird. For today's homework, you are going to go on a walk or look out of your window or find a picture on your computer of a bird. And you are going to be a bird watcher. You are going to draw a picture of the bird that you see. Think about what colors are it, what color the bird's feathers are. Is it big? Is it small? Where did you see the bird? Did you see the bird flying? Did you see the bird on the beach? Did you see the bird in a tree? Make sure to draw the setting around your bird so I know where you found your bird. Then you're going to check off if your bird is small, medium, or large. You are going to write down the color of the bird. You are going to write down where you saw the bird. You are going to write one thing that you thought was really interesting about the bird. And you're going to write down what type of bird do you think it is. So do you think, and for this you may need to look on the internet. Do you think you saw a blue jay, a robin, a cardinal, woodpecker? I will also write these questions on the web page so that you can refer to it while you're doing your work. Please take a picture of your bird observation and send it to your teacher. Another activity that you may want to consider doing is making a bird graph. So this activity would be great if you go on a walk where there's lots of birds or if you are able to look out of your window and see birds flying around. For this activity, you can make a graph about the different color birds you see. So if you see one brown bird, you would color in one box. If you see two black birds, you would color in two black boxes. This activity to make a bird graph is optional. I just wanted to share it with you because it's a great math and science connection. Another fun activity that you might want to consider doing is building your own bird nest. To build your own bird nest, you need to gather different materials. You can gather sticks, grass, you can gather little pieces of paper or plastic, and you can put it together into the shape of a bird's nest. Then you can test how strong your bird nest is by placing an egg in it and seeing if the nest holds the bird's egg. So again, please make sure to check the web page for these questions in our bird observation sheet. Complete the homework, take a picture, and send it to your child's teacher. To review, we learned today that there are 10,000 different types of birds, but that birds have many things in common. They, have, they all have beaks, they have hollow bones to help them fly, they have feathers, and they have wings. We also learned that birds have, a, that the bird life cycle goes around in a circle. Adult bird, makes a nest, lays eggs, baby bird, and they grow up to be adult birds. I hope that you enjoy bird watching and 
we look forward to learning about the different types of birds that you observe. Thank you and have a wonderful day.